So welcome to uh, day five. Day welcome five. To day five of our Playmobil nativity. Of our Playmobil nativity. And my name's Nick. Okay, my name's Dora. And we're going to be my helping. My name's Elsa. <laughs> and this is this is Elsa apparently. Um, and we're going to be doing the next part of the Playmobil nativity. And today we're adding onto this nativity scene. We are adding a what are we adding, Dora? We're adding a, a lantern. A lantern to help us remember that Jesus came at Christmas to be the light of the world. Okay, so that's why we're adding a lantern. So I'm now going to help us understand a bit about what that means. So I wonder, do you know what it is I, like to sit in the darkness? Hey, this is scary, Daddy. Do you know what it's like to sit in the darkness? I know, it's like scary. Do you want to ask Mum to turn the light off and then maybe we'll... We'll know. <coughs> wow. 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 What's it like to sit in the darkness, Dora? A bit scary. And sometimes a bit scary, can't it? Yeah. For so, babies. For babies, maybe. And I wonder if it's a bit like being being blind, you can't see anything. I wonder if you ever been in the dark and then someone came and turned on the light. Now do you want to ask Mum to turn on the light? Turn on the light. Please. Please. So, I wonder if you ever experienced that being in the dark and then someone comes and turns the, turns the light on and suddenly everything feels better, doesn't it? Now there's a verse in the Old Testament in the Bible that tells what it would be like for the world when Jesus came. It says, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. And that was what it was like when Jesus came to the earth. He brought light into the whole world. The light he brought is the truth about God and hope for all people. He said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? To have a light always with us, even in dark times, scary times, to know that the light is always with us. I'm so should we just pray? You've never been scared. Well, that's good. We don't have to be scared because Jesus is with us. So should we, should we pray? Just close our eyes. And we're going to say, dear Jesus, we praise you for your shining light. Dear Jesus, we pray for you with your shining light. And we know that there are many people in the world who are still in the dark. Let your light shine through us in how we live, that they might see it and believe it, it, and believe in, it you too. in you too. Amen. Amen. So, thank you for joining us and we'll see you for the next one. But before we go, should we just pray again? And just I'm just going to pray a blessing on you. May God bless you and your family. May he keep you safe and well. And may he fill you with his love and joy today and evermore. Amen. Amen. See you soon. Bye. Bye.